was lost in the moment myself. <laughs> I don't remember lost in the moment. It was very successful. All right. Can we watch it? Did it record? No, we're good. Okay. Okay, thank you. That was really, 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 really good. Thank you. Are you guys feel relaxed and calm? Yeah. Yes. 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 What's interesting about today? Today is something you've never seen before in your life. And I think that's cool. We're going to divide polynomials. Right? Polynomials, just multi term equation thing here. Okay. So it looks. Does it look like something you know how to do? Yes. Yeah, All right. Maybe. Could I suggest one possible way of doing it would be to factor the top? Can you factor the top? Let's factor the top. I think we can. Okay. What would it, what would the top be factored? X. So we have X. this. X plus. So here we have X and X. Five times they're one. Both plus. Five times one. They're both plus. Five and one. All right. And then we have X plus one down here. And now, can you see what happens next? No. Yeah. What do you do? Cancel. Cancel yeah. what and what? X plus X. one. X plus one divided by X plus one is one factor which cancels. So the answer is X plus to X squared plus six X plus five divided by X plus one equals X plus, X plus five. All right. Yay, math! <laughs> <laughs> the solo yay math. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna teach you a way to do it using what's called long division for polynomials dividing polynomials using long division. And just like a long division problem, observe. <laughs> oh my. I know, not nuts. No, no, I remember this. You know how to do it? Okay, so help us out when we get to it. <clears throat> so x plus one, right, a little bigger, and then you go like this, <coughs> and then you put x squared you don't put that plus one six thing. x plus five. What thing, the divided symbol? No, that like, it's not a square root, right? No, it's divided. Yeah. Is that the divided sign? Yeah, it's divided. What's the difference between oh. that way than just putting the? It's not. They we're gonna get the same answer, but I'm teaching oh. it with a simple example, because we're gonna do more challenging examples. You'll see it soon. Okay. All right, now, long division. Let's do. Hold on. Let me, let me get to it. I'll I'll help. I'll need your help. Just give me a sec. Three fifteen. All right. So you know how to do long division already. What do we do first? Seven what? Go ahead. How many seven times is seven? Oh. Right. Seven, seven into thirty-one. Seven into thirty-one. How many times? Right. Yeah. And what's the what's the answer in this case? Four. four. So we put four, right? Yeah. Oh. So we get we try so to get so how many times is seven going to thirty-one as close as possible to thirty-one without going over. So now we go over here. How, how many times does x? Thank you. I know. I'm glad you know it, but people don't. Just give me a chance. How many times does x go into x squared? Twice. So what would I put here to multiply x, by x, x, x to make x squared? x. All right. All right. Now we're over here. What do we do with the 4? We multiply by, 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 by 7, and you put it down here, right? Yeah. 4 times 7 is 28. 28. We put it down here. So what do you think we do with the x? We put it down x squared. x multiplies by this term. So x multiplies with x, making x squared. X, squared. Plus, plus x, x multiplies by 1, making plus, plus x. x. Okay. <laughs> Question so far. Wait, yeah, I don't get it. X multiplies by x plus 1. So what is x times x plus 1? It's x squared plus x. In the fashion of this, x times x plus 1. That's what it is. Okay? X squared plus X. All right, now over here, what do we do with the 28? Subtract. Subtract. So we subtract. Three. And we get three. Bring down, Bring down the five. five. Not yet. Now over here. <laughs> That's good. You guys know what you're doing. Subtract. So we subtract the whole thing. Not, I'll tell you right now, the number one mistake that people make. Wait, why do you subtract? Why do you subtract? <coughs> so is it 5x plus 5? And then you bring the 5x. So you subtract the whole thing. Now we're going to subtract. Let's look at it. 